Cinema Synopses. Spoiler alert! We are under attack. In the Eastern European country of Sokovia, the Avengers, Tony Stark, Steve Rogers, Thor, Bruce Banner, Natasha Romanoff, and Clint Barton raid a Hydra facility commanded by Baron Wolfgang von Strucker. I think we lost the element of surprise. Who has been experimenting on humans using the scepter previously wielded by Loki. Find the scepter. Send out the twins. They encounter two of Strucker's test subjects. Twins, Pietro Maximoff. You didn't see that coming? Who has superhuman speed. We have an enhanced in the field. And Wanda Maximoff, who can manipulate minds and project energy. We have a second enhanced female. An apprehended Strucker. Guys, I got struck her. While Stark retrieves Loki's scepter. I'm just gonna let them take it. The Avengers arrive back in New York. Lab's all set up, boss. Well, actually, he's the boss. I just pay for everything and design everything. Make everyone look cooler. Stark and Banner discover an artificial intelligence within the scepter's gem. The scepter is alien. The jewel appears to be a protective housing, something powerful, like a computer. Artificial intelligence and secretly decide to use it to complete Stark's Ultron Global Defense Program. This could be the key to creating Ultron. The unexpectedly sentient Ultron. What is this? You are Ultron, a global peacekeeping initiative. Believing he must eradicate humanity to save Earth, eliminates Stark's AI, Jarvis. I believe your intentions to be hostile. I'm here to help. Stop it. Please, AI. Ultra in the flesh and attacks the Avengers at their headquarters. That was dramatic. There's only one path to peace, the Avengers extinction. Escaping with the scepter, Ultron uses the resources in Strucker's Sokovia base to upgrade his rudimentary body and build an army of robot drones. Having killed Strucker, he recruits the Maximoffs. Is that why you've come to end the Avengers? I've come to save the world, but also, yeah. Who holds Stark responsible for their parents' deaths by his company's weapons. You lost your parents in the bombing. I've seen the records. I'm on the side of the shield. Stark, we wait for two days for Tony Stark to kill us. And goes to the base of arms dealer Ulysses Klau to obtain Wakandan vibranium. What comes out of Wakanda? The strongest metal on Earth. Let's talk business. Stark is, he's a sick. Aw, oh, Junior. You're gonna break your old man's heart. The Avengers attack Ultron and the Maximus. Stay down, kid. But Wanda subdues them with haunting visions. I've done the whole mind control thing. Not a fan. Yeah, you better run. I'm calling it Veronica. Causing the Hulk to rampage until Stark stops him with his anti-Hulk armor. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. A worldwide backlash over the resulting destruction and the fears Wanda's hallucinations incited send the team into hiding. What is this place? Safe house. Thor departs to consult with Dr. Eric Selwig on the meaning of the apocalyptic future he saw in his hallucination. I saw something in that dream. I need answers. In Soul, Scream and your entire staff dies. Ultron forces the team's friend, Dr. Helen Cho, The Cradle. This is the next me. Who is enslaved by Loki's scepter to use her synthetic tissue technology, together with Vibranium and the scepter's gem, to perfect a new body for him. Romanoff and Banner plan to flee together after realizing a mutual attraction. What are you doing? I'm running with it, with you. However, Nick Fury arrives and encourages the team to form a plan to stop Ultron. So stand, out with the platinum. Thor visits the Water of Sight with Dr. Selwig and sees what Ultron is planning to do with the Infinity Stone inside the Scepter. As Ultron uploads himself into the body, Wanda is able to read his mind. I can read him. Discovering his plan for human extinction. How could you? You're a madman. We have to evolve. 
the Maximoffs turn against Ultron. He's uploading himself into the body. Rogers, Romanoff, and Barton find Ultron. Captain, keep him occupied. What do you think I've been doing? And retrieve the synthetic body. If you have the package, get it to start! But Ultron captures Romanoff. I wasn't sure you'd wake up. The Avengers fight amongst themselves when Stark secretly uploads Jarvis, who is still operational after hiding from Ultron inside the internet, Jarvis has been beating him from inside. into the synthetic body. So, you want me to help you put Jarvis into this thing? Thor returns to help activate the body, explaining that the gem on its brow, the Mind Stone, one of the six infinity stones. The most powerful objects in existence was part of his vision. I don't want to kill Ultron, but that pain will roll over the earth. He must be destroyed. This vision and the Maximoffs accompany the Avengers to Sokovia. Where Ultron has used the remaining vibranium to build a machine to lift a large part of the capital city skyward. This is how you end, Tony. This is peace in my time. Intending to crash it into the ground to cause global extinction. If it drops... Once it gets high enough, global extinction. Banner rescues Romanoff, who awakens the Hulk for battle. I adore you. But I need the other guy. The Avengers fight Ultron's army, while Fury arrives in a helicarrier with Maria Hill. James Rhodes and S.H.I.E.L.D. agents to evacuate civilians. Let's load him up. Pietro dies when he shields Barton from gunfire. He didn't see that coming. And a vengeful Wanda abandons her post to destroy Ultron's primary body, which allows one of his drones to activate the machine. The city plummets. Thor, on my mark, now! But Stark and Thor overload the machine and shatter the landmass. In the aftermath, the Hulk, unwilling to endanger Romanoff by being with her, so help me out. I need departs in a Quinjet. You're unbearably naive. Well, I was born yesterday. While Vision confronts and seemingly destroys Ultron's last remaining body. Later, with the Avengers having established a new base run by Fury, Hill, Cho, and Selwig, Thor returns to Asgard to learn more about the forces he suspects have manipulated recent events. The Mind Stone is the fourth of the Infinity Stones to show up in the last few years. It's not a coincidence. As Stark leaves and Barton retires, Rogers and Romanoff prepare to train new Avengers. They're good, they're not a team. Let's beat him into shape. Rhodes, The Vision, Sam, and Wanda. Fine, I'll do it myself. In a mid credit scene, Thanos, dissatisfied by the failures of his pawns, dons a gauntlet and vows to retrieve the Infinity Stones himself. Here are some fun Easter eggs and trivia from The Avengers 2 Age of Ultron. In the comics, Ultron was created by Dr. Hank Pym, Ant-Man. In this film, Ultron is a dormant project developed by Tony Stark, and Pym appears separately in Ant-Man in 2015. Stan Lee makes his regular cameo as a veteran at the Avengers' party, who takes a drink of Thor's ale. Lee has said this is his favorite cameo to date. Bruce Banner's creation that houses the extra Hulkbuster parts, Veronica, is named that as an in-joke based on the Archie comics. Archie Andrews is always torn between the two women that love him, Betty and Veronica. Banner already had a girlfriend, Betty Ross, so this armor was named Veronica, as a contrast to Banner's alternate personality, the Hulk. During his first meeting with the Maximoffs, Ultron is seen wearing a crimson cloth like a cloak with a hood. In his first appearance in The Avengers No. 54 in 1968, he wore one throughout the comic and had the alias of the Crimson Cowl. Black Widow declines trying to lift Thor's hammer. In the comics, she was deemed worthy to wield it in an alternate reality story. 
Steve Rogers is the only Avenger, besides Thor and the Vision, who is able to move the enchanted hammer Mjolnir, albeit only making it budge slightly. In the comics, he was able to move it fully, as best seen in the 2012 crossover event, Fear Itself. This is why Rogers could move it slightly at the party, causing Thor to be momentarily anxious about his own worthiness to hold the hammer. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs>